Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for the collective at this time. Dear God, give me the most important messages, please, for the collective. Most important messages that need to come through at this time, please, for the collective. Oh, you got the page of wands. So let me tell you, for those of you all that are single, okay? Now, this could be for people that are in relationships as well. Um, your relationship could be growing at this time. But I'm getting a strong energy of this resonating at the moment with those that are single, okay? A faithful and loyal person is headed your way. Some of you all could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or there could be a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries that is headed your way, okay? Uh, this could be somebody for some of you all that won't necessarily be a lover. This could be a trusted friend. Maybe you have been wanting to expand your soul circle, all right? Um, but this is somebody with good intentions coming your way. This is a very consistent person. Also, for some of you all, you are going to be receiving some type of good news okay um even if it's not a lover that, or friend coming into your life oh my god the reason why these blessings are coming is because you remain hopeful in a situation some of you all could be an aquarius okay um we do have the star card here but i'm telling you all you all are going into a period of happiness satisfaction and some of, for some of you all this started during aquarius season where you started looking up like, damn, it seems like my life has gotten a lot better. Some of you all could have been through hell and high water. But Spirit is saying things are definitely going to be turning around and working in your favor. There's going to be a lot of happiness, a lot of pleasure. Um, again, I'm feeling somebody very optimistic about what's next, feeling very inspired. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody has reconnected to their faith. So bravo to you. Okay, okay. You also have seven of swords in a reverse because in the past, some of you all may have deceived yourself, um, could have been with somebody that you may have had a relationship with in some way, shape or form, but you're deceived no more. Okay. Seven of swords in a reverse at times comes out in a reading when somebody may have dealt with slander. Okay. You may have had people that tried to throw dirt on your name, people around you that were very argumentative, but I'm hearing that, uh, let me tell you, in order for you to get the star to come out in a reading, that means at some point you had a tower. So like I meant, mentioned before, some of you all have gone through hell and high water. Okay. But you're now in your healing stage. That tower moment happened for a reason. You've accepted it. Okay. You've made amends with it. And now it's like on to the next. God, what do you have next for me in my journey? Oh, I'm telling y'all, y'all put it into something. Whether this was leaving a job you were no longer satisfied with, leaving a relationship you were no longer satisfied with, ending friendships that were one-sided. It's like hell no to one-sided connections. We're not doing that moving forward. So congrats to you, collective. I'm telling you, um, there were some people, I mean, there are some people in your life that just failed to meet the test, okay? And you became frustrated. Some of you all are currently going through a separation um, and it could have been due to some type of interference of a third party, whether this is a lover, whether the work got in the way or somebody not wanting to work. Um, just a lot of different things could have happened. Take what resonates, but um, definitely you all put a stop to this. And this is why this optimism is here. Yeah, you got the eight of pentacles in the reverse. You all may have took take that. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot talk today. <laughs> Some of you all may have taken some losses financially, but as it's so funny, whenever I pull cards about a loss, I will hear in my head, um, first I took an L and tonight I bounced back. So I'm telling y'all, for those of y'all that may have been laid off, you may have had your hours cut, uh, your business may not have been prospering as much as you would have hoped it had. Spirit is saying, first you took an L and tonight you'll bounce back, okay? So... Um, some of y'all may have taken a loss due to somebody that you may have been dealing with. Um, somebody very vain, very conceited, very arrogant, very lazy, but spirit is saying everything that you lost, you will get back tenfold. You cannot make this up. Everything you lost in that tower that we talked about earlier, you will get it back tenfold. I'm telling you, some of you all lost your stability. You may have lost your home. A, a lot of things that happened. Okay. Some of you all were still dealing with abandonment from childhood, whatever the case may be. But again, I'm sorry. Somebody was dealing with a very arrogant son of a bitch. Okay. 
excuse my language, but hangman in the reverse is a disgusting type of individual. This is somebody that's like, I ain't got to make no effort to do nothing in this relationship. I don't have to make no effort to take care of this child. I don't have to do shit, but sit right here. See how this person sitting? I don't have to do nothing but sit right here. I don't have to make any moves. I don't have to make any sacrifices. Baby, when I tell you they finna be strike down. When I tell you that karma is going to be like ain't nobody's business, this is the second reading I've done back to back. Talking about somebody about to get some karma that's going to kick them in their ASS. Listen, I don't know who you are. I don't know if you watch this channel. But when I tell you, you're going to pay for everything that you did to the collective. Whew. Lord, I don't know who this is, but they about to feel it. They about to feel it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what their karma for some of you all is going to be. They're going to watch you be happy. They're going to watch you prosper. For some, of the, for some of you all, you could be a Leo, or they're going to watch you move on to a Leo. That's going to make your life happy as hell. Some of y'all move into happy relationships, committed relationships. Some of you all are going to be engaged. Some of you all are going to be married. Uh, be married hell. Some of you all are just going to have pleasure in your daily existence. Okay? And this is because of you having a good heart. You had good intentions with this hangman in the reverse, okay? Some of you all could have been um, dealing with, I'm getting, I'm getting Taurus, okay? Some of y'all could have been dealing with the Taurus. Some of y'all could have been dealing with the Aries or a Leo. Gemini, I'm seeing Gemini because we do have the lover's card here as well. Um, this was somebody that could, could have been slow to act. Or there could have been some time you had to wait for divine timing for some blessings to come into your life. But I'm telling y'all, somebody has a new partner coming in. Somebody very reliable and patient. Okay? Somebody that is willing to build with you. I'm telling y'all, some of y'all are getting blessed with a dependable person coming into your life. Okay? This could be you walking into the next stage of your life. Okay? You made some changes. Maybe at one point you were the hangman in the reverse. You were stubborn, unwilling to listen, unwilling to delegate. OK, but that tower came down and you and it caused you to have this healing moment. You could have been this low vibe and comment to somebody at this time. OK, but you repented from the things that you've done in the past because, hell, we all got a past. But to whomever I'm speaking to, baby, the blessings going to fall down. I'm hearing rain down on, on me. <laughs> Yeah, you got the three of pentacles in a reverse. Again, it could be somebody that's just not satisfied with their place of employment or where they are in life financially, and they just want to make some changes. And Spirit says, baby, the time is now. There's never a perfect time to start a YouTube channel. There's never a perfect time to start a business. There's never a perfect time to turn in your two-week notice. Spirit said, baby, you just got to get them balls, grab them by the balls. And keep it moving, okay? Bottom of the deck here, you have five of cups in a reverse. Um, oh, my God. I am getting a pattern here with my readings right now. Listen, we are getting ready to go into Mercury and retrograde. Y'all already know that's the reason my ass can barely talk right now. <laughs> that's one of the reasons I can barely speak right now. But this is a time when the old resurfaces, okay? Reunions of old friends, old lovers, old co-workers, old situations being brought to the surface that have not, the karma in that situation, the lessons for some have not been learned. Don't necessarily mean you need to go back to the past, okay? It just means that you need to get gain that closure from this situation, however you see fit, okay? So for some of you all waiting on Johnny or Ronnie, a Sarah or Jane to come back. Please understand that if that person left you in shambles, because see this five of cups is in a reverse now, but that means at some point it had to be in the upright. At some point, this person had you crying. This person had you in grief. This person had you disappointed. This person had you shattered, okay? Some of you all were in a marriage without real love. Some of you all, this person kept pointing out all your damn flaws that you have, okay? There was a loss that you experienced. There was a regret that you experienced. Don't go around and forget all of this because Jane, Johnny, or Lisa, or, or Lane came back. Okay? Don't forget those lessons. Don't forget the shit this person put you through. While you're reminiscing, don't forget that. Don't forget this person is the reason for this tower. This person is the reason for this star card, this, this rebuilding you had to do on your own at one point to get here. Don't lose your lessons 
Don't block your blessings. Somebody needs to hear that. Why are these messages coming through? Dear God, why are these messages coming through for the collective? You brought out the best in me. I came alive in your presence. You don't know what you got till it's gone. I'm telling y'all, somebody gonna watch out, be happy. Somebody gonna watch out, celebrate. Some of you are gonna end up meeting your love of your life or you're gonna be celebrating with the love of your life. I'm getting on a boat or something. And this is gonna be for the 4th of July. There will be, ooh, there's gonna be a lot of sparks with this new person. Oh, there'll be a lot of sparks. I'm telling you, the marriage without real love, for some of you all that had to deal with that or a relationship without real love, baby, let me tell you, everything you lost in that relationship, you're going to gain tenfold with this new one. Look at those two people kissing. You may have dated somebody who didn't like to kiss. Oh, I don't really like kissing. Or oh, I ain't one with like doing that or all of that. Baby, everything that your person didn't like, your new person going to love. Okay, they're going to love the smell of it, the feel of it, the touch of it. All of it. You ain't even got to shave it. They just want to play in it, lay in it, all day in it. <laughs> you have, I didn't realize, shut the mother freaking door. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Now it's just a little too late. I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. I'm telling you, somebody's been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of missing, a lot of reminiscing when it comes to you all. You have, I'm working on myself so that I can give you the love and the relationship that you deserve. You have a decision on whether or not you want to trust this person, trust your intuition collective. For some of you all, this could be a test from spirit. Are you truly done? Because see, over here with this red pill, I got you this new love, this new life, this abundance. With this blue pill, I got your past. Which one you want? You have my memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. Again, there's a person living in regret. Bottom of the deck, I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. Five of cups in the reverse is reconciliation. I'm telling you. I need to come through at this time, please, for the collective. Clear and precise messages, please, for the collective. Spirit is saying this person is bad news, or you may end up finding out some bad news in regards to this person. Check out my previous reading. This card came out in the last one. All right, this could have been somebody you met at work, okay, a workplace affair, okay, or there could be this new person that you meet, okay. You could fall in love with somebody that you work with. All right. You also have here running. OK, so spirit is saying you need to run away from this person. That's bad news for some of you. All this person could be a runner. OK, could be a runner, chaser, codependent relationship. This is deja vu. Here's the same messages from the previous reading. Some of you all are in this boss chick, boss dude energy. OK, very successful or you're headed there. OK, and this person knows that you're very successful. OK, there's that person wishing, hoping, praying for reconciliation. But because why does person feel like shit? They feel like shit. Let me tell you something. For some of them, they didn't know that you had the ability to do this or become this. You changed a lot. They don't remember. They don't recognize this new person. Let me tell you, for some of you all, they see you on social media or they see your glow up in some way, shape or form. They see your glow up and they cannot believe I passed this up. Somebody's in deep regret. Somebody's in deep regret. Give me some more messages, please, for the collective. More messages, please, for the collective. This person could be facing legal issues, going back and forth to court. Um, they could have some type of judgment against them, whether this is for credit card debt. This is, could be for um, they, uh, cars being repossessed. They may have lost their home. Okay, somebody lost their footing in some way, shape, or form. Okay, somebody is even in trouble with the immigration system. All right. I'm telling you, they see and you shine and your light irritates their demons. Okay, for some of you all, you could have some haters out here you didn't even know you had. All right, you also have here, this person could be pissed at the fact that they've been rejected. 
because you cut them off. You're saying no second chances for some of you. You also have here, <laughs> I don't think it gets any clearer than that. This person wants you back. All right. You also have child services. So, so ah, I cannot talk. <laughs> For some of you all, you could have a child or children with this person. You all could be back and forth in the system in regards to child support, visitation. Um, you also have kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something negative, some neglect or abuse. This person may have even tried to do this. Okay, for some of you all, because they've been rejected, they could use this as a tactic because their feelings are hurt that you have moved on. This person, for some of you all, you have already moved on to your person. And this is any way, shape, or form that this person can stay connected to you. Oh, my God. Listen, came out in the last reading, marrying for money. Okay, this person may have moved on. They may have married somebody for money. Okay. While still trying to hold on to you. I do not want this person in my reading okay we was trying to do new stuff all right speaking of new love what needs to come through what need to come through at this time please for the collective oh <laughs> that's what i'm talking about you cannot make this up spirit said release your ex baby because you got a new love coming in okay very soon for some of you all a new love is coming in so baby any little remnants of this person from the past, move along, move along, like I know you do, move along. <laughs> some of you all may end up meeting your new person through some friends. You may get set up. All right, Spirit is saying, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to happen uh, naturally. Some of you all may be trying to fight this new love, you know, with fear, not physically fighting, but... Uh, fighting the temptations, okay? You've been hurt from the past. You don't want the same thing you had before, but Spirit is saying, listen, let go of control. Take your time. Get to know this person. Don't rush the, the sex or the courting of this connection. Let it happen naturally. Let it happen naturally. Yeah, you got a decision to make, all right? It's time to decide about this relationship. So some of you all could be on the fence. Do you still want to entertain the person from the past? Do you want to move forward to the future? You also have here forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward. The reason why some of you all is not that you necessarily want to be back with this person from the past, but there was a lot of hurt. And sometimes we don't realize that energetically we block new people from coming in because we have a hard time forgiving people from our past. Spirit says forgive that person. Forgive who you are, you were when you were with that person. Okay, and allow yourself to fully heal so that you can welcome new love into your life because you got abundance coming and abundance comes in many forms. It's not just money. It's the people that you're associated with. So he's going to replace every person that hurt you with people that want to help and heal you. So be patient. Everything was working out and is working out in divine timing. You also have second chance. You cannot make this up. Somebody wants a second chance with you. Spirit's going to give somebody a second chance to see, have you passed this test? All right. Are you still tied to this person energetically, sexually, emotionally? Now, see, that passion will keep you stuck. Is it worth it is what he's asking. Is it worth it? So let me get a time frame because I know some of you all really love time frames. Like, when is my person coming in? I need something to have to give me hope. Okay, hope is here. Hope is here. All right, dear God, give me the most clear and precise message since it is, you know, a lot of you all, it's a collective. Everybody's not going to have the same time frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some time frames and, all right, see what happens? Dear God, give me the most clear and precise messages. Can you give me some time frames for the collective on when this new love is coming in? This abundance. Give me the most clear and precise messages. I'm also being told when somebody, when you let go of control issues. So if you are somebody watching this reading and you know you have control issues, Spirit is talking about you. When you get out the driver's seat and let him do the work he needs to do. Okay? So... For some of you all, Spirit says, don't lose hope. 
Okay, it's hard for sometimes for people to remain hopeful because there's nothing that they can see at that moment that feels tangible, that moon energy. Okay, for some of you all, spirit says it is not the time yet for you all to be dating. Okay, you need to heal from codependent issues. All right, again, I like I said before, you have the forgiveness card that came out. Some people are still fighting how to forgive their exes, how to forgive themselves for having chose a certain person. Okay, you have to be able to move on from that or you're going to remain stuck. For some of you all, your new love is coming in next month. Next month is April. All right, for, uh, Spirit said, for some of you all, you're going to meet this person around July. For some of you all, you're going to meet your person around June. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, uh, you can book with the information in the description box, pinned in the comments, across the screen if this is edited, and also under the community tab. Uh, for some of you all, you need... <laughs> Spirit, you are petty. Release the need to control the situation. Didn't I say that somebody is like, I need to know right now. And for that person that needs to know right now, he said, you're going to keep on, and we're going to keep on delaying this. Because you're trying to rush me, okay? Spirit said there's still some work that needs to be done. Whether you need to go over there and focus on building your wealth, uh, your status, whatever this is in life, um, before you need to let somebody new come in. Somebody dates too many people back to back, okay? Somebody has too many soul ties out here that they need to break first. For some of you all, Spirit says more patience is required. For some of you all, Spirit said there's no need to hurry, okay? Enjoy being single. Some people don't even like to be in their own company. For some of you all, you may meet this person in September. For some of you all, Spirit says let it happen organically. We got this message earlier too. And Spirit is saying time has been delayed, okay? Because there are some other things that are important right now. I'm getting somebody's mental health is important. Somebody may suffer from anxiety. This can cause issues in relationships. Somebody could suffer from depression. Somebody could have self-esteem issues. Somebody needs to build that confidence, need to work on themselves. All of those things before um, it's time to really put yourself out there. And somebody is literally hearing this and going, you know what? I know it's not time for me to date. I'm just having this wishful thinking at this moment. Okay, let's see. Why are these messages coming through for the collective? Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for the collective? Yeah, delay, procrastination, too busy. Okay, again, there could be some things that need to be handled at this moment. All right, I'm telling y'all, somebody is suffering in silence, okay? Unspoken desires, real feelings and broken dreams. Somebody really, really misses you. All right, you got love affair, dirty little secret, sex fix, and down low, okay? So somebody could have found out some secrets about a person that they were in. You may have found out you were in a third party. You're still trying to heal from that. Some of you all may have found out your partner's true sexuality. You're still healing from having been betrayed. For some of you all, you're still healing from a narcissist. Now you see why some more time needs to be done, don't you? You all, some of you all had realized you were dating back-to-back -back narcissists, egotistical individuals that were opportunists, were fragile as egos, okay? I'm telling you, healing from a narcissist is not an overnight thing, okay? Trust me, it ain't no joke. Cool child. Yeah, some of you all, you may need to heal from some type of addictions or you may need to heal from somebody you dated that had addictions, whether this was, um, or you could have been somebody that in a relationship, she kept making bad decisions, choosing the wrong type of people, choosing people with addictions, going through continuous cycles over and over again with a different person. And this is what spirit said need to heal. What You cannot make this up because spirit said, we got to stop this. You got to learn your lessons from this situation, these karmics so moving forward give me some positive messages to close off this reading from the universe okay give me some messages moving forward for the collective give me some messages moving forward please for the collective spirit says what some of you all need to be doing at this time is prioritizing self-healing right now put your needs above others for once it's time to focus on you. 
Self-healing takes time and a lot of self-love. Remember, open wounds don't heal into scars overnight. Take the time that you need in order to feel happier and healthier within yourself. There is no rush. Now, you see what I mean when it says some people have to take a little bit more time because self-love is not an overnight thing, okay? Bottom of the deck, you have one day when you least expect it, you're going to crash into somebody who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart. And you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe it deserved more. Oh my God, what a beautiful way to end this reading. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sag Moon Diva. Guys, if you're interested in a personal reading or if you're interested in learning tarot from me, all the information is below and in the community tab. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Deuces.